Okay, so um, I want to talk to you guys about some of the tricks for percent problems. And in order to do that, we've got to start with the base, um, 100%. I think that almost all students know what 100% means. Like if I said 100% of the class, um, what am I talking about? I'm talking about my entire class. 100%, of course, means everything, all of it. But because of that, if you ever get a problem that asks you about 100% of something, there's no work to do. 100% just means all. You could literally replace it with the word all. So if I ask for you, uh oh, if I ask you what is 100% of 25, I'm asking you for all of 25. That's just, of course, 25. And if I ask you what is 100% of 11.7, again, I'm just asking you what's all of 11.7. It's 11.7. And you can see that 100% just means the whole thing. And so, very nice shortcut here. Um, let's look at an implication of that. Okay, so um, another easy little trick is for 50%. If 100% means all, most of us realize that 50%, if I say like, oh, 50% of my class are asleep right now. Uh, clearly, I'm not teaching very well, but most of you guys know that I'm talking about half of the class. Now the really nice thing about half is most of us already know a shortcut way to take half of something to multiply by one half. You guys frequently, when I ask you to half something, will just divide by two. And so halving is the same as dividing by two. So 50% half dividing by two, it all means the same thing. So let's take a look, 50% of 12. I just want half of 12. And most of us can just do that in our head. We go six. Okay. Now, I say to you, I'd like you to find 50% of 32. You say, uh, I don't know if I can half that one in your head. That's fine. Um, one trick way, quick way to do this problem, not the only way to do this problem, would just be to divide it in half because, or divide it by 2 uh, because we know that 50% is equivalent to that. So 2 goes into 3 once. Uh, and we just used up 1, 2 there, so drop a the remainder is 1, and then drop the next digit 2, and 2 goes into 12, as we know, 6 times, and it goes in perfectly. So we can see that 50% of 32 is 16. Okay, so not real nice if you understand that dividing by 2 thing. And even if it's ugly and it's really hard, it looks hard, um, 2 half, you could still do that divide by 2. So I look at this last one, 50% of 6.3, again, I could just take 6.3 and divide by 2. 2 goes into 6 three times and it goes in perfectly. So there is no remainder. Drop a 3. Now 2 goes into 3 once, but the problem is we're going to end up with a remainder. Ooh, I did not leave myself enough room. Remainder of 1 here. And now I need another digit. A lot of students say there are no more digits. Remember, after a decimal place you can have as many trailing zeros as you want. So it's like there's an invisible zero here. I'm going to drop that zero, and 2 goes into 10 five times. Now, don't forget, when you divide by a decimal, they float straight up. So I had my decimal place right there, so that's 3.15. Well, that should make sense that half of 6 point something is 3 point something.